two requirements one is covin registration other one is display the registration details after registering we need to display the registration details of the particular member so whenever you log into the covin app a screen will be displayed like this we need to enter the mobile number once we have entered the mobile number when you click on the get otp it will be waiting for otp to be entered so if you see here the mobile number has been masked how can we extract by using sub str sub str of minus 4 it will extract last four and rem remaining cards by using pipe symbol we need to concatenate two strings so pipe symbol as well as sub str when we enter the otp and click verify and proceed will be populated to the screen so register members so this is the first requirement so we need to register this member so once we enter these values and click on add so details will be populated okay so we'll see this requirement by using pls scale so if you want to solve this requirement you should have better understanding of the following concepts sub here to extract some part of the string pipe symbol to concatenate two strings ddl dml tcl these are data definition language data manipulation language tcl transaction control language creation of a table creation of a sequence dml is for inserting statement tcl for committing the transactions then for procedure you should know what is a procedure how to write a procedure and how to execute a procedure in and out parameters so anonymous block so next one is for l pad so l pad is nothing but for padding purpose we'll make use of this l pad sequence so to generate uh, primary key number sysref cursor and dvms output to see the result on the console and column aliases so if you know this concept it would be easy to understand the requirement so we'll see what is procedure so this is the procedure syntax sample procedure create or replace procedure procedure name sample procedure is my procedure name so begin dbms output dot put line hello world so end of this process this is a sample procedure so if you want to execute now we'll make so anonymous block begin and end so sample procedure is the procedure name we need to write so we'll get the output as hello world this is the sample procedure now we'll see the first requirement covin registration so in order to solve this requirement you should have one table to capture the details covin registration details it has reference id phone phone number name gender year of birth photo id proof photo id number so these are the fields we need to have so for reference id we are creating one sequence the sequence name is covin reference ref id sequence i will write one procedure to capture the result okay create or replace procedure procedure name so our procedure name is covin registration proc proc is nothing but procedure it has input parameters as phone number name gender year of birth then photo id proof what is the photo id proof you are submitting and photo id what is the id or id number and out message so we need to show to the user like whether whether uh, account has been created or not so these are the inputs six inputs and one out parameters so we'll write insert statement to capture these results so reference id phone number name gender year of birth photo id proof photo id number so for reference id we are we are taking sequence covin ref id sequence next well so next well is used to access the sequence number so p phone p name these are nothing but the parameters from the user so whatever the user entered those values can be populated here photo id proof photo id number so these are the input parameters from the user and covin covin ref id sequence is the sequence we have generated so if you want to commit those transaction we'll make so if you want to store data permanently in a database we'll make so commit so p message is used to display to the user account added successfully your reference id is as follows so if you want to access the current value make so curval sequence name dot curval it will give the current value if i want to get access the next value we're using sequence name dot next value so sequence is very very important in real time so for next for primary key generation value makes of sequence how can we access by using these are the pseudo columns next to well and curve value are the pseudo columns available for sequence so end of procedure so now we need to execute the procedure by using anonymous block we can able to execute so this is the procedure name covin registration proc so these are the input parameters phone number name gender year of birth pan card 
what is the photo id proof you are submitting we are submitting pan card and the pan card number is like this so result is to show the output so result so once you execute this anonymous log we'll get the output as account added successfully your reference id is as follows so by using curval we can able to get the things so in this way we need to access like we need to capture the details so once we select the data we'll see selection of co administration details will get data will be stored reference id phone number name gender year of birth photo id proof photo id number so once we enter this data will be stored in database so if you see no everything i have put in one place and remember one thing when you are writing we need to proper follow the coding standards here p underscore is nothing but parameter p underscore is nothing but parameter okay if you see alignment also we need to follow so this alignment we need to follow when you are writing anything so this will code looks good so coding standards we need to follow when you are writing anything next requirement is after after registering after registering the details then we need to display the results registration details to the user first step is to capture the details second step is to display the results registration details to the user so if you see this is our database in for the user we need to display like this so if you see reference id so reference id is from the database but if you see secret code is not available in database so we need to extract last four of reference id if you see last four 4080 is, is the secret code that we can able to extract by using sub str of minus 4 of ref id and pan card so photo id is pan card number and if you see photo id number we are capturing but while while displaying you no know, for security reasons we should not show to the show enter result to the user we need to map the things okay so year of birth so for masking purpose we'll make use of these things this is the registration details okay this is the procedure we're writing create or replace procedure procedure name so our procedure name is covin members display here input is what phone number is our input and output is sysref cursor so by using sysref cursor we can able to store the results here sysref cursor is nothing but the dynamic ref dynamic ref cursor system defined ref cursor where we can able to store where you can able to send the result to the front end so open sysref cursor variable for name ref id so if you see here here ref id is nothing but this is the column aliases if you want to spaces we need to double enclose with double quotes sub so str ref id come minus 4 it will give what last four characters photo id proof and if you see we need to mask the things okay we need to extract last four and remaining characters should be map map with x this is for security id number is for security purpose so here of but covin registration details this is our table name so your input is p phone so based on the phone number we need to display the particular uh, member details so name here fid secret code is nothing but column aliases so if you want spaces we'll enclose the double double quotes and ref id uh, secret code minus 4 minus 4 sub str and l pad okay so l pad will give what left side will be padded with x so like this uh, this requirement needs to be solved so once we know if we if you pass result to the front end they will map the results like this so these are mapping things sub str mapping sub str l pad concept okay so try to solve this type of requirement so that concepts can be improved and coding skills also can be improved